Janie. So glad to have you on The Morning Show. Here's the thing, with my listeners, a lot of people call every day and they're like, Chris, who can help me to retire? Because, you know, there's some older adults and maybe they're thinking about retiring early. We live in a different world. Times have changed. Yeah. Do you hear this a lot? Yeah, and especially with, you know, what we've got going on uh, right now in our environment. And then a lot of the people that are retiring today, they live through 2000, 2001, and 2, and 2008. And so then the pandemic happens. And so I think it just worries people. I mean, we are going to have this happen again. You know, if you're retired for 30 to 40 years, there's going to be black swan events again. We're going to have corrections. We're going to have bear markets like we're in right now. And just for the folks that maybe don't know, a black swan event is something like uh, a meet, like a 9-11 that you had no control over it. You had no idea it was coming, just like the pandemic. You know, we just, it, it, you would have never even imagined that that was going to happen at, you know, at that point in time. Always thought, well, maybe it's out there, but we just were, you know, it just blew us away when it happened. Is there like a rule of thumb? Everyone has a different situation. Right. But foundationally, everyone starts with Social Security. Maybe they have a pension. Mm -hmm. How do you protect yourself from something like that? Yeah. And it's really about diversification and being diversified and really being disciplined and steady about not getting out when, you know, the, at the hardest time when you really want to get out, you shouldn't get out because we know that we'll miss the up period. So really one year after we come out of a bear market, we get a 50% return. Would have happened. And if you would have gotten out, you would have missed out on that. So it's so hard for people sometimes to stay. But that's why we say, hey, let's protect some of this money. Let's look at some principal protected options. Because, because people, I think the average mom and pop, it seems counterintuitive and things go down, they panic and they want to get out of the market. Right. But what you're talking about, is this what, where they say buy the dip? Well, you're sitting in cash, so right. you would go and buy the dip if you have money on the side for opportunities. But it's really about being diversified across the board because you don't know what's going to you know, have a good opportunity or not, just depending on what's happening. So you want to just be diversified. Going beyond that 60, 40 stock to bond mix, just getting a, you know, a couple of alternatives in there, a couple of tactical managers to really help you um, avoid the situation, be able to navigate around. So really, it goes back to that old adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Right. And I've heard people say things like, look, you have your main nest egg, your main brokerage account, mm -hmm. and you want to let that grow. You don't want to touch that. Don't panic. Leave it alone. And this is probably where it pays off to have other types of alternative investments so that if you do need to pull some money out mm -hmm. for a situation like a 2020, right. then you have that available. Right. And also, it's a good reason to have money in cash. But yeah, you're right. So there's annuities out there that we use, utilize just for that reason alone, because when the market's going down, you don't want to be taking your money out at that point in time if you can at all avoid it. And if you're retired and all your money's in the stock market or the bond market, you're going to be have to taking it from have to take it from that that pool, right? So if it's in an annuity, your principal's protected, it's not going to be going down at any time. So when you're withdrawing it, you really are not going to be ex exposing yourself to that, you know, sequence of returns risk, which we worry about when the market's going down and and you're taking money out. And I think this is a really good place to kind of switch gears and talk about WMEC listeners. Yeah. So when you talk to some of these older listeners, I've worked at a lot of different radio and TV stations, but there's something special about WMEC listeners. There so really is. when you when you deal with our listeners and now you're getting to know our morning light listeners, mm -hmm. like what's the typical scenario? Is it an older adult? Is it someone that's ready to retire? Yeah, I mean, basically, it's it's everything across the board. It's really people that, that want plans, that want to be prepared. So we'd have people that are maybe 10 years out or so from retiring, or maybe it's people that are in their, you know, mid-70s or so, and they retired and felt like, I, you know what, there's some changes that need to be made. I need to have my portfolio looked at. I'm just really sure if I'm on the right track. So there's people rewriting their track, if you will, re redoing their plan. To make sure they're on the right plan, but but the listeners that we have from WMEZ are just really they're really they're special, genuine, yes. wonderful people. Really, really are our favorite favorite clients. And as you were saying that, Janie, the thing that occurred to me is that maybe there are some people that are just discovering uh, Kelly Capital Partners. Maybe they listen to the Morning Light. Maybe they're WMEZ fans across the board. When you have someone that's saying, you know what, I'm just not happy with where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. And yes, being proficient is one thing, being good at your job, but being good at your job and also being a people person and being able to develop that relationship, mm -hmm. I think especially with WMEC listeners, that counts for something. 
I, I agree. And I think people are intimidated to go and sit down and with a financial advisor because maybe they're afraid they're going to get sold something or maybe they're afraid that they're going to talk over their head and then I'm going to walk out of there and I don't know what I'm going to be in, what, what investments will I be in. But we don't do that at all. We don't. Our first meeting is not about selling at all. And they're it's probably really, scared of losing money. That too. That too. And and it's really all about getting to know them, finding out you know what their goals are, what their concerns are, just sitting down because we're customizing these plans and every single person retiring is different across the board. You know, you're going to take Social Security different. You're going to have required minimum distributions or you're not. You have a pension or you don't. You know, there's everybody's different and they've all got a different situation. And so for us, that's what we love about the job is getting to know the people, uh, getting into their plan and, and just really finding all the out about them. I think that's what is so interesting about it. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, everybody's different. That's why it's really important to customize the plan, making sure it's it's the right plan for them. Now, we live in a global economy. Things have changed a lot in the past few years, but it's still Detroit. It's still the Motor City. So you have a lot of people, I would imagine, that have worked or are working for the big three. Mm -hmm. And I know there's been a lot of consolidation, downsizing, right. moving people, mm -hmm. layoffs. How has that impacted this market in particular? Right. So we've gotten a lot of referrals, a lot of people, folks coming in to see us, um, especially there was a couple of layoffs going on there with the big three, like you mentioned, and and we're, we're getting them to come in and meet with us. And we're just setting them up so that they are ready to retire. And, you know, a lot of them have pensions, which is awesome. And they're able to take those pensions along with Social Security and then the, their own monies. Um, and some of them aren't even Social Security age, so they're still looking for jobs. But we're setting them up so that when they do retire, retire, they can uh, retire comfortably and know they can retire well. So when you think about all these different brokerage houses and financial planners, mm -hmm. the two things that really stick out when I learned about Kelly Capital Partners, one is uh, the roadmap okay. and the other one is the special software that you have. Right. What's going on with that? So we've got a couple different softwares that we use. One is Riskalyze, which helps us really get a handle on the tolerance level for the person, what they can stomach, right, with, from a risk perspective. The other one is called Retire Up, and that really helps us understand how much you can spend in a down market based on what you've saved, based on Social Security, do you have a pension or not? If you're married, does your spouse have wages still coming in? And, and when does that person want to retire, right? It's a, it's a family plan. So we're going to take everything into account. And it, that software really helps us understand taxes, um, inflation, what it's going to look like when you're 90. OK, do you have the money to go to 90, 95? If your parents, you know, lived into their 90s, maybe you had a grandma live to 100. We've, we've seen that, you know. So we really want to make sure that we're planning for that longevity risk, which is the risk that you live a long, long time and run out of money. So how does the, the special software, how does that fit into the, the puzzle in terms of the Kelly Capital Roadmap? Right. So we're going to take the data from that software and implement it into the roadmap and just lay it out in a clear cut, concise manner that's pretty basic to understand, right? People, I think another reason they're afraid of finance is because they, they don't understand it or they don't want it. They're, they don't want to know about it, learn about it. And we never had this in school. You know, I mean, I don't know about you, but I never had a personal finance class. Never. Right. And, and I, my kids didn't. Um, so it's one of those things where we really need to know about it, but people don't. So they're, they're fearful of it, but the fear of the unknown. And so that's one of the things we try to make it as basic and plain for them to understand. And I think it's about education. I think People just want to, to know as much as they feel like. They don't want to get in too deep. Right. But just to be able to understand the basics is really, really important, especially for women, because women tend to tear, steer away more from this subject than men do. And a lot of women are going to be widowed, right? And that's, and generally speaking, you know, we outlive men. And so I see that all the time. So it's really important for me to get to know the woman, the wife, even if she's not all about the finances. But if, you know, if, if her husband predeceases her, she has someone to come to and, and someone that she can already trust and can just pick up the pieces and move on. Well, with her. in one sense, I think that that might put you at an advantage because, and I know this is sort of a stereotype, but it's true at the same time, a woman that goes into the car dealership and she's worried about being taken advantage of, maybe because right? she's not mechanically inclined. Mm -hmm. So for you to say, well, your name's on the door. So I'm going to go talk to Janie Kelly because mm -hmm. I'm a woman and I say, look, I want someone I can trust. Right. Have you seen that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially women, like woman to woman. Like, you right. know, the, and if you're a single female, you've got 
it's on you, right? You've got to figure out your finances. Sometimes some of the ladies will bring their dad in or their brother or friend, but it's basically on you how you how you manage your assets, and it's you need to understand it, right? And so I think that we do a really good job, and that's the feedback we get. That you know, I saw this advisor and this advisor, and no one explained it the way you did. So I just want to wrap up it, one piece of advice to say, okay. Give us that golden nugget of wisdom. Everyone has a different situation, but if you could say one thing to my listeners on the morning mm -hmm. show, what would it be? That we are independent, that we are fiduciaries, meaning it's incumbent upon us to make the decisions, the best decision in your interest, your best interest, not my best interest, right? Also, that we are not tied to any bank or brokerage firm. We're utilizing independent private money managers on the institutional side, different than the retail side, where really the general public goes to get their advice. So different in that way, we have some, some special management that we can... Um, give access to for our clients because we have over 100 million of assets under management, which allows us to, to get an, an aggregate number for our clients to be eligible for these funds. And I think that's so powerful because on both ends of the equation, on the one side, you don't have the big bosses in the shadows kind of standing over your shoulder telling you what to do. Yeah. And then they're sort of enticing you to do things that wouldn't be in the best interest of your client. Right. And being a fiduciary, I mean, by law, that means that your first responsibility is to look out for your clients. So really, you're you're free to do the best thing for the people that you talk to, right. not because of somebody else. Right. And so we're going to incorporate the insurance world and the investment world. And, you know, we have, I'm licensed with over 19 different insurance companies. We can just, we have the universe at our fingertips to be able to offer to our clients. Janie Kelly, Kelly Capital Partners, welcome to The Morning Light. Glad to have you as part of the Radio Church family. Thank you so much. See you.